What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP What do you do as a central sterile processor? Guys, today I want to go back to basics and we're going to talk about wrapping technique sequential and simultaneous if you just finished a sterile processing course or you're taking one currently you're sure to hear these terms somewhere along the lines but not so much if you've been in the field for quite a long time if you just got into the field you've probably never heard of simultaneous wrapping or even know how to do it. But if you went through sterile processing during the pandemic and the wrap shortage, you might have had to learn how to do sequential wrapping. You may even have had to use the old muslin wraps or the cloth type wraps. That would have been very interesting. I heard some facilities were thinking about going back to using that, but no fret, no problem. I'm here to discuss both methods and show you how it's properly done. The first thing is the simultaneous wrap. Simultaneous wrap came to be after sequential wrapping. The idea of just wrapping an item twice was time consuming, so someone some genius came along and said, well, why don't we just bond both ends together, <clears throat> both pieces together, and make each one a triple layer that reinforces and gives you a better protection and saves on time. So when you do sequential wrapping, um, simultaneous wrapping, I'm sorry, when you do simultaneous wrapping, the wrapper that you're probably going to, you're most likely going to encounter in the field or the SMS wraps that are bonded by heat seal along the end and it has what's like a pocket. Okay, so it's not sealed in all four corners. So the simultaneous wrap goes as follows. You're gonna grab your device and you're gonna place your um, wrapper in a diamond pattern. So we're gonna do an envelope fold here you're going to place your item in the geometric center of your um, wrapper. And I've often seen people kind of measure up um, to see if it's even. I've never learned that and I've never, I actually just recently learned how to do that. But I've never utilized it. Now, depending on your facility, some facilities like to line or wrap their items in a liner um, to help absorb moisture during the drying phase. That's the only purpose of the liner. The liner is there to help absorb moisture and to soak up that moisture um, so that you don't have a wet pack or anything of that matter. Some facilities don't require it, so um, their, their uh, sterilizers are very efficient, so the requirement or usage of a liner is not required, either inside the package or outside while wrapping. But here's how it goes. All right, your item is down. Your first fold should always cover your item entirely, okay? You're gonna fold that tab. And then my rule of thumb is that every fold afterwards should cover the package entirely. So you're gonna push down at the end here and you're gonna create a little tent or another little triangle, okay? I like to pinch off early and bring across, okay? And that covered my package completely, I form another tab. That's a septic presentation there. That is required for a septic presentation. The next side you do the same exact thing is you fold like a little triangle here and come over. Again, the flap is across the entirety of the package and you form a little tab. In the front, you do the same thing, okay? Put your hand in the middle Form your little triangles here, okay? And bring your package over, okay? I like to walk out my edges so I cover my package completely. And then the last fold goes tucked under the original folds you did. And you leave a little tongue or a little tab 
to open your package. When you use your tape, you don't want to tape over the tongue because this is the opening point. Tape on the sides, small pieces. Make sure not to go under the package because that can get caught on the, on the uh, shelving and wind up tearing the package. And then one single tape across. Make sure not to cross your tapes, guys. So that is um, uh, simultaneous wrapping. Sequential wrapping is when you put a package inside of a package. It requires two single layer, that's very important to state, single layer SMS wraps. You can't use two, excuse me, two bonded layers because that creates too thick of a challenge, right? Can't use two bonded layers. So that makes, that would make it four, right? You don't want to do that. Two single layer SMS wraps. Okay, and the procedure is the same. But let me explain this one to you. I'm gonna do this one in a little faster time here. Y'all can talk about my package in a second. Okay, you're gonna do the same wrapping technique, right? You're gonna do your envelope fold here. And I find it that when the wrapper is thinner, um, it's a little bit easier to do the folds. Some people find it harder, I find it easier. Okay. You're gonna do your first layer. Okay. And again, I say I like to walk it out. And you're gonna go ahead and tuck it. Now, here's where I've seen some variations. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not place tape on the first wrap. Tape is a process indicator and an external indicator and should not be inside of the package, inside of the wrap. So this stays just as is and you do the wrap technique again. there bear with me through the silence here because I'm focused man I'm focused all right and then the last fold how am I doing on time here not the fastest wrapper, guys. I'm not, and I apologize for that. Okay. Now, on this final fold, okay, this is where you would tape and securely put your indicator or your tamper-resistant uh, uh, tape on there, right? Tape on either side of the tab, making sure not to go under the package, one across, and that, my friend there, is sequential wrapping. Simultaneous is one time, sequential is two times. So why would we do sequential? Why was it ever done? Well, it's considered the second chance wrap. In the event that while they're opening this package on the field, they contaminate or possibly contaminate the package, they actually get a second chance to save that package. It's almost like the double peel pack method. Okay, it's not there to protect the package. It's there to present aseptically in the case that you accidentally contaminate the first package. Okay, so you might put your hand in there by accident, be like, oh man, or I should shouldn't have touched the inside. Well, now you have a second chance to present that and get it right. Okay, and get it right. All right, guys, as always, stay true to yourselves. Keep it 100. Continue educating yourself. Until next time, peace.